This is a June 2023 general mathematics paper. To end, we are answering question number 6A and the question reads, uh, you have a set M containing element N such that 2N minus 3 is less than or equals to 37, where N is a counting number. So Roman 1 question asks to write down all the elements in the set M. And Roman 2 says if a number is selected at random from the given set M, what is the probability that number it is A? Question alpha, a multiple of 3. Question beta, that number is a factor of 10. So let's attempt to answer this very question together. Solution to the problem, what we do first, starting with the very first question, Roman 1, that is we have to write down all the elements in the set M because it is in set builder from the elements that exactly are not indicated, we have to find those elements. So what we now do, we now take this inequality inside that defines the element in this given set and try to solve that inequality. Inequality is uh, 2n minus 3 less than equals to 37. So in attempt to answer this or to solve this inequality, we now shift this negative 3 to the right hand side. Why to change it to plus? So you're going to have 2n less than or equals to 40. The 40 is 37 plus the 3 that was shifted to the right. So next you divide both sides by the coefficient of n to get n here. So divide both sides by 2, that gives you n less than or equals to 20. So all the counting numbers that are less than 20, including the 20 itself, is a member in this very set. So you can now write the element exactly in the set m. So that set M now contains elements starting from 1, 1 is the very first counting number, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to this number 20. So the elements will now be 1, 2, 3, 4, da dash, da dash, up to 20. These are the exact elements inside the given set. So Roman 1 has now been answered. So we move to Roman 2. Roman 2 says from this set, if we are to pick an element at random, what is the probability that it is a multiple of 3? So starting with the question alpha under Roman 2, probability of selecting a number from the set that it will now be a multiple of 3. What you now do, you now count how many multiples of 3 that are there from 1 to 20. The 3 is a multiple of 3. 6 is a multiple of 3. 9 is a multiple of 3, 12, 15, 18. They are all multiples of 3. If you count them, you have 6 of them. So which means probability of selecting a multiple of 3 is now going to be 6 out of 20. 6 is now your required outcome divided by the total number of elements in the given set, which is 20. Reducing 6 by 20 into simpler form, that gives you 3 over 10. So this will now be the probability of selecting a number that is multiple of 3. If I move to question number beta, what we want to select is a factor of 10. So factors of 10 will now be, what is a factor of 10? It is in this set. 2 is another factor of 10. 5 is another factor of 10. Similarly, 10 itself is another factor. If you count them, you have 4 factors of 10 in this very set. Therefore, the probability of selecting a number that is factor of 10 will now be 4 over 20. And when you reduce the this to simpler form, that gives you 1 over 5. This will now be the probability. And that answered all the only questions here. So let me just share with you how marks were distributed in this very question as it is contained in the official work market scheme. So the very first mark is the method mark in attempting to solve this inequality. That gives you this method one mark. And when you now solve the inequality, you have n less than or equals to 20. That gives you this accuracy one mark. And when you now list all the elements in that very set, starting from 1, 2, 3, up to this 20, you have this bonus one mark. In case one is missing, then you miss this bonus mark. All the elements must be correct. So next mark is method mark. And this method mark is uh, writing the probability of selecting a number in multiple of 3 or 6 over 20, you have this method one mark. And when you reduce this fraction to simpler form, you have 3 over 10. That gives you this accuracy one mark. And the, the next mark is another method one mark. You attempted to get probability of selecting a factor of 10. You write in 4 over 20. 
that gives you this method one mark and when you simplify it to simpler form you have one over five this gives you this accuracy one mark so in total this is very question 6a has a seven good marks